times I've tried to write this and Jake keeps throwing snowballs over it so that Elsie keeps running over it. I was trying to write snow day, December 2022, but we move. They're just living their best life over there. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child Got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's Christmas All around All snow is falling down All the colored lights lighting up this town Hey guys, welcome back to and my I random vlogging spot in the house first thing i want to say is do excuse my hair and um, you've just seen from my opening montage that we have had a very snowy week and we've just taken elsie out on a dog walk i'm thinking it's going to be the last day that it's like icy outside and um, i think we are forecast some rain today and tomorrow so yeah we just quickly took the dog out so i've had my hat on and yeah I probably look a bit bit of a mess but yeah anyway hello i hope you just enjoyed watching that little snow montage it's been the cutest but coldest week how festive has it been though i'm a bit sad that the weather this week is meant to be um like rainy and warmer and um, don't get me wrong it has been very cold i think we had one day where it was like minus nine which is madness but um it's so festive i think to look outside and it was obviously a week today is christmas day which is just bonkers to me i have not done enough <laughs> i've got loads of wrapping left to do i've still got some bits to buy as well i need to get just little bits and bobs i need to get a few bits for jake's stocking and i need to get elsie something because that would just be like treats or something but yeah just got a couple of bits left to buy a couple of bottles of wine a couple of bits of chocolate for like the nieces and nephews but yeah i'm still not finished shopping so i'm a bit like ah a week today is Christmas, what is going on? But it's Sunday today, so I wanna just apologize for the lateness of this vlog. I've had a plan, I've got two vlogs on the go at the same time, so there'll be one this evening, and then there'll probably be one, probably be one, <laughs> Monday or Tuesday as well. Because yeah, I've been vlogging all week actually, but I was waiting for a parcel to arrive to share with you guys, and it's only came today. And the reason for that was uh, couriers, nothing to do with the company. So, yeah, a little bit annoying because it got lost with every. It was meant to be delivered last Saturday, which I think was like, was that the 10th of December? And it's now the 18th. So I know everyone has been having issues with deliveries. And, yeah, so I'm not going to moan about it because I do appreciate that they're all so busy. And, yeah, it was um, probably not helped that... Obviously where the Royal Mail have been on strike, I assume that other companies have been having to pick up a lot of that slack as well, plus Christmas delivery. So yeah, it's fine. It's arrived. Um, it is a, a cherries order. So I think I've done one of these on here before. If not, I've definitely done one of these on my Instagram account before. They very kindly reached out and asked me if I would like to... Um, collaborate again this month which I was so excited for because it was Christmas and I don't know if you guys have looked at cherries before or done an order of cherries before but they literally sell everything it's a little bit like an online B&M home bargains pound shop type company um all your household essentials they do gifting they did christmas present ideas they did loads on there so they kindly gifted me a 20 pound voucher to spend so I did a really random order because um, I wanted to kind of show you the real variety of stuff that you can get on there and then it's come today and we're having a real cosy sort of Christmassy film watching day and Jake was like you could have just ordered a whole bunch of chocolate and stuff so that we could have just snacked all day didn't really think of that but um yeah I wanted to show you what they had on there unfortunately I think I may have missed the Christmas cutoff because of the delay in the box but the code is still live you can still go on and place an order so even if it doesn't arrive in time for Christmas hopefully it will um because I know they do next day delivery, I know mine was delayed, but it was nothing to do with cherries, it was to do with obviously the couriers. So I'm assuming that's why they put on their Instagram that last orders 
to assure definite delivery for Christmas was the 17th because of the issues with like deliveries and things but I will still pop my code here like I said it's for 25% off your first order using the app um, and you have to spend a minimum of £20 which uh, is so easily done but you get so much for your money so that's kind of why I wanted to do what I did this month because I wanted to show you how much I got for £20. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm still waffling. Like I said, I'll pop the code here for you. Go and have a little look at the app. There are so many good things on there, and even if it doesn't arrive in time for Christmas, it will arrive, you know, and it's it doesn't have to be Christmas things that you order. So yeah, anyway, just to start off with, I did order something Christmas related. I ordered a Christmas door bow. <clears throat> I think this was £3. I really wanted one of these last year. I'm not sure now if I'm going to bother putting it up. I don't know whether to leave it till next year now because it's only going to be up for a week. I'm not sure. Do you reckon you can reuse them? Oh, you have to measure and cut and... Oh god, I'm not very creative. I'll see. Anyway, they had that on there. They had loads of cute Christmas gift ideas. I don't know... Um, if they will have any of that still on there, like I say, because I think that the cutoff for Christmas has now gone. But yeah, I did order also some Christmas chocolate because I had lots of like the tube chocolates. I had all the Christmas snacks that you could ever dream of. So I ordered some of the Little Robins. I love these. I love anything dime. So yeah, this is the only leaf chocolate that I bought, which is crazy because cherries do the best snacks. So yeah, definitely go and have a look. Okay, moving on. So I, there was a few things that I really needed. So I wanted to do like an order which was things we needed slash used quite a lot of, but to also show the variety of the things that you can get. So I managed to get hold of the Hinch Eucalyptus wash range. The only thing they didn't have was the softener, but I managed to get the Unstoppables and the, um, what is this called? Just like the bold gel. I don't know what it's called the actual wash stuff so yeah really chuffed about that because we'd literally just run out so this was really good um managed to get hold of that i picked up some cupboard bits so just some crisps some super noodles and some pasta sauce they do so many different cupboard ideas like all your typical cans and pastas and pasta sauces anything like that that you would normally get cupboard wise is always on there and it's just such low low price like everything i'm showing you all came to 20 pounds so such a bargain oh another cupboard food was just fajita spice isn't it funny when you watch hauls people always say and i know i do it as well people always say i got this because and it's like i got fajita pasta because we eat fajitas and fajita did I say fajita pasta? A fajita sachet because we always eat fajita pasta. Um, but it's really funny, isn't it, that you do sort of say, I got this because I got shower gel so that I don't smell. <laughs> um, I don't know why people do that. Again, I do it. Everyone does it. I don't know why, though. Um, so, yeah, I got a his and her shower gel. These were a pound each, I think. Um, I was going to put, weirdly, I was just going to chuck Jake's in his stock in, but he's seen it now, so that's rubbish. And then I picked up some cleaning bits as well. So, classic flash bathroom, was running out of this, this was really cheap on there, it's the Febreze Fresh Scent. I got some mould and mildew, just because we don't have any, and it's always a good essential for the bathroom. And then I picked up some Harpic Active Fresh Mountain Pine Toilet Cleaner, just again because because here she goes again we've run out but that's all i got that doesn't seem like it was a lot now but it really was so yeah i got loads of cleaning bits these cleaning bits are always they're always similar prices wherever you go really aren't they but yeah on cherries it's just so convenient you can just scroll through the app anything that you've run out of anything that you like the look of just add it to your basket check out and it arrives literally next day normally um aside from delivery couriers just decided not to deliver it i think it was because of the snow so i'll let them off or um christmas time obviously there will be delays but yeah so that's what i got and i just wanted to share that with you all because um i didn't want you to miss out on the code i did pop the code on my instagram story on friday just because i saw that it was um potentially last uh day to deliver last day to order on saturday for christmas delivery but um like i say it's still worth going on and having a look and seeing if you can get some bits before christmas but if not just going on and stocking up on all of your essentials all of your food cupboard essentials it's just a really handy little um little website so yeah i just wanted to share that with you all and now i'm just going to pop in the what is what have I filmed this week? I'm just trying to think. So we did a uh, Vista Village Christmas choir sing. Merry Christmas to you. This time of year. 
is a time to cheer Let our love minds, our family and friends Have a Christmas with so much love And we also baked a pastry critique okay, So we are going to do the Lotus Biscoff Christmas tree pastry or attempt to at least I couldn't decide whether to do the Christmas tree that I've been seeing everywhere or I don't actually think we have a oh no we do have a gingerbread cutter or just make loads of different Christmas shapes but I think we are going to go for the Christmas tree and we're going to have it for breakfast I don't know if you can even see Jake there he is also here <laughs> um, but yeah we just picked up this pastry from Tesco's I do can you even make can you make pastry from scratch I'm sure you can yeah of course you can but was not going to be doing that um and yeah we're going to do lotus biscoff i wasn't sure whether again to do half and half of lotus and nutella but because we're going to do the christmas tree i think we're going to go just for lotus so i think it's as easy as rolling this out spreading the lotus putting this one on top and cutting it out so let's see how it goes okay so we had a slight catastrophe because i tried to spread to open it before it had warmed up a little bit so if you're going to do this don't open it straight away because it started to crack so we had to well jake rolling pinned it smooth again so yeah it says to leave it about 10 15 minutes which i didn't check before so this is the bottom i think you can see the top one here so we're now going to just spread the bisque off i feel like it's going to be really hard to spread we could try a bit and then if it's tough you probably Jake's just made this for the top. We didn't have a star, so a snowflake will have to do. <laughs> but this is the finished tree ready to go in the oven. We just need to egg wash it. So we're just going to quickly do that and then we will show you what it looks like okay. afterwards. So this bit fell off of the tray, so that's gone squished. And then the icing sugar kind of didn't dust over, it kind of dumped over. But there is the finished tree. <laughs> Everyone made it look really good. Ours didn't turn out that great. <laughs> It tasted okay. I think it would have been better with Nutella inside because Biscoff goes quite dry, I think, when it's hot. Does that make any sense? Whereas, like, obviously chocolate really melts well, doesn't it? So, yeah, I wasn't a huge fan, but I'm not a huge pastry fan anyway. There's going to be another vlog in the next couple of days that will show you... Um, what else we've been up to? We went to the Land of Lights yesterday and we're doing some baking this afternoon. So yeah, I'll pop all of that in a separate vlog for you. And then, yeah, I can't believe it. It's nearly Christmas. There'll probably be... I don't know if there'll even be another vlog up, you know, after t after that. So yeah, I'll just see what I get this week. I don't know what else we're doing this week, really. And towards the end of the week, everyone's going to be busy, so no one's going to want to watch a vlog, are they? So yeah, that's my little cherries haul. Go and check them out. Um, I'm going to go and have a look at this and see if I can figure it out. I don't think... I thought... I don't know what I thought, to be honest. It says, measure your door, cut the material long enough to wrap round, allow up to 0.5 metres, approximately to remain wrap the material around i don't know what i expected because obviously you've got to actually tie it's not going to come like that is it i don't know what i thought was gonna happen um i'm not sure if i'm creative enough for this but if i do i'll take a picture of it and i'll insert it if there's no picture you know i didn't do it but yeah have a lovely day whatever you're up to i say day it's going to be evening when this goes up so i hope you're all ready for a fresh week if you've broken up for work i'm extremely jealous but i shouldn't be because i'm very lucky this year that i'm only working until wednesday thursday morning and then i'm off until the new year as well so i can't complain um i shouldn't complain i'm very grateful 
but yeah if you are off have a lovely week of festivities if you're still at work i hope it goes quickly for you and i will catch up with you all later on goodbye mm -hmm.